Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California for the 14th annual Association of Corporate Growth Silicon Valley Grow Awards. We've been here for a couple years now and it's a big event, 300 people coming in to talk about really an ecosystem of helping other companies grow. Always great to be on theCUBE. Essentially what we are is an organization that's dedicated towards providing networking opportunities, education opportunities, programming for C-level executives and other senior level executives at companies to help them develop their career and also grow their businesses. Tonight it's about tech as a force for good and I'm going to talk about what I call the four superpowers today. Mobile, unlimited right. reach, cloud, unlimited scale. AI, unlimited intelligence, and IoT bridging from the digital to the physical world, and how those four superpowers are reinforcing each other today. Very sophisticated population. I mean, it's just wonderful living here. Just so many smart people around. The biggest thing that we see is just the whole better together message, that all of the resources from the strategically aligned businesses all working together to support the customers. Technology is evolving at a remarkable speed. Uh, you know, that's being driven largely by the availability of increased processing power. Less and less expensive, faster and faster. Digital transformation, IT transformation, security transformation, and workforce transformation. Those are the big things for us this year. It's great to be able to have a computer that really understands how to generate meaningful, realistic text. It's our opportunity to improve the quality of lives for every human on the planet as a result of those uh, superpowers and really how it's our responsibility as a tech community to shape those superpowers for good. There are issues created operationally day to day that we have to sort of always be on the watch for like, you know, readiness distance or these technologies failing. It's the two sides of the same coin always. You can use it for good or you can use it for bad and unfortunately the bad's been in the news more than the good, but there's so many exciting things going on in medicine, healthcare, oh, yeah. Yeah. agriculture, energy, that the opportunities are almost endless. Not just the first world problems those of us here in the Silicon Valley see every day, but really open our eyes to what's happening in other parts of the globe. The need for water, uh, clean water, uh, water filtration, clean air, having access to information, uh, education, so these are some things that are you know, really personally dear to me. In the last 50 years, we've taken the extreme poverty rate from over 40% to less than 10% on the planet. We've increased the length of life by almost 20 years. I mean, these are stunning things, and largely the result of the technological breakthroughs that we're doing. And that's the beauty of this, right? That all of these things actually create opportunities. You just have to stick with it and, and look at solutions and there's no shortage of really talented, creative people to go address these opportunities right. and it's so fun to be involved in it right now. The scale that we're able to now conduct business to be able to develop software to reach customers and truly, right, to change people's lives. Right. There are in, in many ways the technology haves and the technology have not. Absolutely. And a lot of it is not just about making the product, but then taking the product you've made and then implementing it in various use cases that really make a change come about in the world. As I say, today is the fastest day of tech evolution of your life. It's also the slowest day of tech evolution of the rest of your life. Of the rest of your life. I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE from the ACGSV Awards. Thanks for watching.